Good morning, everybody. This is Dr. Lee with another episode of Derm Path Made Easy. And today we have a, another follicular lesion. This is called a trichofolliculoma. Again, that's a trichofolliculoma. So let's take a look at what these lesions look like clinically. And you can see here, it's a sort of a dome shape or lifted papule, um, commonly on the head and neck. And here you, you see one on the nose and usually they're around the nose and the eye, eye area. But this is a, uh, you know, seeing this lesion clinically can give you a clue as to what we're dealing with. And here you have a sort of a dome shape or lifted papule and you have multiple sort of um, white hairs coming out of it uh, in a background of, you know, sort of black hairs everywhere else. Um, the white hairs are not characteristic of this lesion, it's just kind of an interesting fat, uh, point here. So one would think about something like pili multigemini and that's sort of, you know, multiple hair uh, shafts coming out of one follicular structure. So, you know, this is the H&E of pili multigemini, and you can see sort of multiple hair shafts all contained within one follicular canal. So one outer root sheath here, but multiple hair shafts coming in and out of there. So let's go back to what we see histologically. So now, you know, here's the typical picture of what a trichofolliculoma looks like. You have sort of a, here's the uh, hair follicle and you have a cystically dilated infundibular space, kind of like the um, fiber folliculoma, and also the, you know, the uh, follicular sebaceous cystic hamartoma. Those are all very, very, uh, you know, look-alike lesions, essentially. The cystically dilated infundibular portion and numerous small hair follicles surrounding this, this cystic dilation, so-called mama, meaning the large hair follicle, uh, cystically dilated, and her babies. The babies are surrounding this cystic dilation. Now, if we come in on higher power here, you can see that there are numerous uh, small hair shafts contained within this cystic dilation, telling you that all these are actually producing hairs. Now, we come in some of these hair follicles, uh, when we come in higher power, you can see a little hair follicle right there. And um, let's take a look at another example. <clears throat> So this is another example here, and you can see it's a dome-shaped sort of papule on the head and neck, small diameter hair follicles here, and a large cystic dilation within the central portion of this infundibulum. Surrounding it, you have multiple small, smaller hairs, some of them somewhat primitive looking, with these um, you know, sort of <coughs> um, papular mesenchymal bodies. And again, similar kind of feature, multiple hair shafts um, actually within this cystic dilation. Now there are other examples um, which are here more follicular uh, prominence, I mean sorry, sebaceous prominence, um, and this is when it gets kind of muddy, you know, when, when it's harder to tell the difference between this and a follicular sebaceous cystic hamartoma, and many authors actually consider these sort of identical morphologically. And I'll show you in a second how to tell the difference uh, the only w real way to tell the difference, um, in my opinion, when it does uh, show, but we'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. So again, we have a cystically dilated hair follicle and multiple sort of smaller diameter hair follicles all producing, um, you know, hairs <clears throat> uh, emptying into this cystic dilation. This one is more, is an older lesion with more uh, sebaceous prominence. Now this is an image taken from Path Presenter. Visit there if you haven't. They have a great slide library. Okay, and um, this, on the other hand, is a follicular sebaceous cystic hamartoma, and you can see how this is very, very easy to kind of, sort of, it's diff difficult to tell uh, tell the difference between the two. The one clue here is the stroma occasionally is slightly different. As you can see here, we have a adipose rich. Uh, area within this fibrous orb-like structure, and over here you have some vascular proliferation. So, because this is a hamartoma, if if there if when this is present, the adipocytes and this kind of mixoid stroma around here and the highly vascular stroma, that could be the one uh, differentiating point. This isn't always there, so you know it's it's difficult to tell the difference occasionally. Um, but these are all benign lesions, so there's not much harm done. Let's come back to the other one. You can see here, there, there is sort of a, a hyper collagenous stroma, but we don't see any um, fatty, you know, adipocytes anywhere. 
So coming back to our case, um, just as a uh, overall summary of what we have here, this is a <clears throat> lifted papule commonly on the head and neck of generally older people. Um, around the nose and the eye are very common features. Occasionally, clinically, you're gonna be able to see multiple hair follicles coming out from this lesion. And uh, <clears throat> microscopically, what you see is a centrally dilated uh, infundibular portion of the hair follicle uh, with <clears throat> surrounding smaller diameter hair follicles, so-called mama and her babies, right? Smaller diameter, primitive appearing sort of hair follicles, all producing hairs um, <clears throat> emanating circumferentially around this cystically dilated follicle. Thanks guys, that's, that's all I have for you today. Hopefully this was helpful. And if this has helped you, please uh, like, subscribe, and share it with some other people that you may think this would help. Thanks a lot. Until next time.